Neanderthals are amongst the most recently departed. The long stigmatized theory of Neanderthals was that they were cavemen, hunter-gatherers, and all that is the opposite of us. But as we learned more about them, we realized that they were actually more like us. Turns out, Neanderthals were culturally and socially complex beings who also interbred with humans for thousands of years. Through the different studies conducted, we came to know that they usually travelled in groups and the discovery that we are going to discuss today supports the social behaviour of these ancestors of ours heavily. Scientists have found hundreds of perfectly preserved footprints, providing evidence that Neanderthals walked the Normandy coast in France and in groups. The tracks were discovered by archaeologists working at a site called Les Roselles on the country's northwestern shore. Carefully brushing away layers of sand, the scientists found 257 footprints between 2012 and 2017. The team described the collection in a paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. The prints suggest a group of 10 to 13 individuals, mostly children and adolescents. They were on the shoreline 80,000 years ago. Jeremy DeVore, a co-author of a study, said the prints were left in muddy soil and quickly preserved by wind-driven sand. Each of the footprints was photographed and modelled in three dimensions. Casts were taken of a few of them using an elastomer, which is less rigid than plaster. Many of the prints were lifted from the site to be preserved elsewhere and those that were not extracted were destroyed by the wind. Analyzing the size and shape of the footprints confirmed that they were consistent with what scientists know of Neanderthal's broader foot structure, slightly wider with a lower arch than the footprints of typical Homo sapiens. Some of the prints appeared to have been made by a taller individual. Remains of skeletons previously suggested Neanderthals were around 150 to 160 centimeters tall, but this individual may have measured 175 centimeters, which is about 5 feet 9 inches tall. The long and short of the statistical analysis of the footprints is that the Neanderthals who made them ranged from nearly 74 centimeters in height, which is 2 feet 5 inches tall. In other words, a toddler to 185 centimeters, which is 6 feet 1 inch, not a toddler. Most of the individuals at the site were children and adolescents, with the youngest being about 2 years old. While the footprints were discovered alongside handprints, stone tools, animal remains, and paw prints, it is unclear exactly what the group was doing at the time. Though prints of Neanderthals and even young ones have been found before, at the Greek cave of Theopetra in 1996, the Le Roselle site is the largest trace fossil site of any ancient human species, much less Neanderthals. In a fell swoop, the discovery at Le Roselle now makes up 95% of all known Neanderthal footprints. The seasonal camp at Le Roselle is a complex social tableau frozen in time and a portal into Neanderthal life. Harcourt Smith said that overall it's a lovely discovery, but the big question is how much it can really tell us. In the past, researchers have only been able to guess at the sizes of Neanderthal groups. Assumptions were based on observations of modern human hunter-gatherers, the size of the structures that Neanderthals built for shelter or the number of individuals buried at a particular site. But these methods were all indirect and often hotly contested amongst archaeologists. The Le Roselle footprints could help provide a more accurate picture of Neanderthals' group sizes and social lives. And that is all we have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and do let us know what you think of it in the comment section down below. For more videos like these, check our channel out and please do not forget to support us by liking our videos and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon in our next video.